Hello, welcome. Take a moment and try this problem. Then we'll solve it together. All right, so what do they want to know? What is the equation of the directrix for the, parab for the parabola with this equation? All right, so what do I notice? I notice that the x binomial is squared, so this is a vertical parabola. And I also notice that this term is negative, so I know it's going to open downward. Okay. And I also notice the, ver the vertex is at negative 4, the opposite of this number, and the opposite of this number, 3. So go over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 3, 1, 2, 3. That's my vertex. And I'm going to label it. Um, the vertex is at negative 4. And then, oops, I should have gone up 3. I just I set up and then I didn't graph it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 3. Say here, 1, 2, 3. So the vertex is at negative 4, 3. All right, and the general structure of an equation is uh, for any vertex, uh, any hard, uh, vertical vertex, y minus k, 4p times y minus k equals x minus h squared. So the vertex is h, hk, which is how we got here. Uh, 4p, well, 4p equals negative 8, so solve for p. p is equal to negative 2. Now, if p is negative, it tells me the parabola opens downward. But the absolute value of p is the distance between the vertex and both the focus and directrix. So if it's, if it's opening downward, the focus is 2 below here. So the focus is going to be, I'll call it f, is at negative 4, down 2, which is 1. So that's that distance right there. That's, that's p right there. But, and then the directrix is going to be up 2 in the other direction here, and that's going to be up at 5. So y equals 5. And then the parabola, if you were to draw the parabola, goes through the vertex, around the focus, and away from the directrix. OK, so that means that choice 1, where the um, height of 5, that's where our directrix is. Notice they also put y equals 1, because if you missed that it was negative, you would reverse the focus and directrix. All right, I hope that helped.